Hi everybody! It's Asha and Isla here with another project for you guys uh, for today. So this is going to be kind of a quick little project, hopefully fun for you. I think I always say that, don't I? Hopefully all of the projects are fun and none of them are like, oh yeah, this is, this that is a was drag. so fun. Yeah, like God's eyes. Oh boy, can't even mention that around Isla. Anyway, so today's project is going to be all about creating your own little miniature world. Um, so what do I mean by a miniature world? So um, thinking something along the lines of what you normally see out where you live. So um, we live out in the forest, in the mountains, so we have a lot of uh, evergreen trees. I think I've told you guys this before. Um, you might live near the beach, so you might have sand and shells near you. Um, you might live in New England where you've got more deciduous trees and rocky streams and things like that. Um, so I want you each to think about the world that surrounds you uh, while you go into this project to create your own sort of miniature world. So um, hopefully you guys will have the uh, tools that you'll need for this project. It's pretty simple. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with just some kind of a container. Now I have a container. I have an old bowl. This was actually an old, I think I used it for a a cat's bowl years and years ago but had since cleaned it out. You can also use an old yogurt cup which you guys can paint to your heart's delight any uh, color or uh, pattern you'd like on that. If you live near the beach like we were just saying you might want to use a little shell. Um, so the one thing you will need to do in your container is fill it with either some dirt or some sand. Um, you could also use maybe uh, pebbles. That would be great to sort of fill your bowl with. So Isla's got a little bit of black sand that she is filling her container with. Um, the second thing you want to do is you want to go out into your environment and find things out there that you can put in your little world. Now are you going to bring back a gigantic boulder and try and fit it into your bowl? No, you're going to think on a small, small, small scale. So what I did before we started taping was I went out into our yard and I looked for things that kind of looked like uh, the nature that surrounds us. So one thing I did was I looked on the ground and I kind of found some little twigs that looked like trees that I could use. I also found some moss that I just kind of dug up with my fingernails. Um, and we're lucky because we still have some moss around here. Um, and then I also found um, a rock and Isla's got a little seashell there. Our things were found, um, I think when we took a trip to the seashore at some point. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little container which is filled with our dirt or our sand. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to layer on top of it some of my moss. Now, again, you might have something like maybe some green grass that you could layer on top. Um, you might have some little pebbles or something like that that you could layer on top. Whatever is in your world. Um, you know, if you live in a city, you might want to just leave it sand and maybe pack it down. It'll look more like pavement. Maybe kind of draw with your finger something that might look like a sidewalk um, or something that you might see in a park that you visit um, when you get out of your buildings and out of your homes. So now I've got my nice moss covering my dirt there. Isla's got a little bit of moss going here as well and I think she's kind of trimming down her her tree. Since I've got my container filled with um, dirt and my moss, I'm going to take my little twig here and I'm just going to stick it right in the center there. 
So now it almost looks like I've got a little tree in the middle of my miniature world. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little rock that I found. Maybe if somebody comes along, they might want to sit on that little rock like a bench. And I've got some little other twigs that are just kind of hanging out in my moss. I might sort of stick that all around. And then the last thing that I am going to do is before I started filming, I drew out some little characters. Now these guys are tiny. So I've got a little, little guy there. Let me see if I can get that right in front of my camera. And then he's got a little dog as well. And I just drew these out on paper with a little felt tip pen. I just got a little snow leopard figurine that she's going to put in her little world. So um, what these also can be called is um, dioramas. A diorama is kind of like a, a little um, show box that kind of tells a story. So we're kind of telling a story with our our um, twigs and our little characters and our rock and everything. So now, isn't it interesting that when you put these little things into your miniature world, how it kind of changes the scale of everything. All of a sudden, it kind of looks like my man is standing up, up against a big tree. He's waiting for it to bloom in the spring. Um, and that's another thing that you guys can do. Since this is your world, maybe your tree is starting to sprout flowers and you could take something like little bits of pink tissue paper or white or blue tissue paper and make little buds all around it. You might also take a little uh, bottle cap and sink it into your world and maybe fill that up with some water and we'll have a little swimming pond or maybe a little bowl where our dog can go in and play. But again, this is your world and so we want you to make it however beautiful and however complicated and however fascinating and fantastical that you would like your world to be. So I think that's going to be about it for today's project. Um, just a short little quick project that hopefully you all can have fun with. And if you would like to send me pictures of your projects, I would love to see the worlds that you guys create. So again, uh, Asha Murthy MacDonald Fine Art at Facebook. And be sure to subscribe so you guys can uh, keep up on our next and our newest projects. And we will see you in the next few days with something new. All right, everybody. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying well. And we will see you soon.